The black screen of death issue has been one of the most dreaded problems on smartphones. Some of the common factors that could cause the issue includes hardware failure, fatal system error, or a complex software bug. Hey guys, RJ here from the cellguy.com, and in this video, I will be showing you what to do if your iPhone XS Max is stuck on the black screen of death. First solution, perform the forced restart. Firmware crashes can always be fixed by this procedure. So, if your iPhone doesn't show signs of physical damage, you can always use this procedure to make it respond again. Here's how you do it. Quickly press and release the volume up button, and then quickly press and release the volume down button. The moment you release the volume down button, press and hold the side or power key until the Apple logo shows on the screen. The moment you see the logo on the screen, that's a sign that the problem is already fixed as you already made your iPhone respond. However, if the device is still not responding after this, then move on to the next solution. Second solution, charge your iPhone and do the forced restart. If the device didn't respond with the first procedure, it's possible that the battery was drained, and that the firmware crashed just before the iPhone powered down. Here's what you need to do to rule it out. Plug the charger to a working wall outlet, and connect your iPhone to it using the original lightning cable. Regardless of whether the device shows the charging symbol or not, leave it connected to the charger for 10 minutes. While the iPhone is connected to the charger, quickly press and release the volume up button, and then quickly press and release the volume down button. The moment you release the volume down button, press and hold the side or power key until the Apple logo shows on the screen. Most of the time, the device will respond to this procedure. However, if your iPhone is still not turning on after this, then it's time you scheduled an appointment at the Genius Bar. I hope that this troubleshooting guide has been able to help you one way or the other. Please support us by subscribing to our channel and enabling notifications. Thanks for watching.